So good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, this is Old Car Auto Guy, and today we're talking about future episodes and things that you can look forward to coming up on this channel. So this morning we are standing out here in the uh, bowels of my garage. So we're out back of the garage and I want to show you something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and there's no better time than now that I've got this YouTube channel to be able to do this project, pull it off and share it with you guys. So what I want to be able to do is have some man cave art for my garage and what I mean by that is as you can see right here and there this is the front clip this is a front clip off of a 78 or 79 Chrysler Cordoba. This is the old front bumper I took off my car when I replaced it with a re-chromed one. So what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to take those parts, put them together, and I think I have enough spare parts as far as headlights and bezels, and uh, maybe even a grill in there somewhere. Put it together on some sort of a board, wire it up, and be able to hang it on the wall and turn the lights on. So it looks like basically that the front end of a Chrysler Cordoba is poking out through my wall. I don't know about you, but I think all of that, stick out of the wall and be able to flick a switch and have the headlights come on and or the park lights, that's just one project. Another project, as you know, is I am currently looking for some upgraded heads for this old 360. I'm trying to wake this motor up and I have a goal of 400 horsepower and I think a new set of heads intake and exhaust is probably going to help that happen. Now I know that I have said it before but I also have a goal of reaching out and uh, sending some more of my new old car auto guy stickers out to some bigger YouTubers in hopes to get some recognition for my channel. Also there's a few guys that I've been in conversation with over the past several months of doing a sticker exchange so I owe some guys one of my stickers and they are in turn going to send me theirs and there's some guys who have already sent me theirs um, like Kip from Bumper to Bumper I haven't forgotten about you just been really really busy so we're gonna sit down sometime in the very near future and get all that information put together and get some of these new stickers sent out as well but the most immediate project that I've got going on right now is old bubbles need some gas so let's head on up to the Irving fill her up so guys don't hate me because I'm that guy You know, not just since I've been doing YouTube, but for as long as I can remember, I don't think I've ever anticipated a new body style of any vehicle as much as I have these GM trucks. Just out here in front of the local GM dealer, and we've got a couple of trail bosses here and some, uh, you know, some really nice trucks. They got a few leftovers, but if we come right down here to the end. We've got this AT4 package and I mean, I've shown it on the video before. I think if I was going to purchase one of these trucks, I think it would probably be that style. Um, I've never been one for huge luxury, so yeah, Denali would be nice, but I'm really liking that package. And when the 2500s come out, like uh, there's a lot of people on here who are saying a lot of really, really rough things about these new 2500 trucks. But I've never had a change of mind so quick before in my life. Just a few weeks ago, when the Dodge 35, uh, 25 and 3500 trucks came out, I thought, man, those are one sexy looking truck. And then the GMs came out, and I'm like, they're just different enough to appeal to someone like me because I like different vehicles. And, you know, granted, once they get out there, they're going to be all the rage everybody well, i should say everybody but you know you're going to see them all the time so they won't be that rare but right now i'm digging these new 2500 and 3500 gm trucks especially the gmc's so before we get too far off topic with things that we're going to be doing in the future for this channel is we just want to give a quick update on a few things with regards to bubbles now you know from this video right here some of the troubles we've been having ongoing with bubbles and that is with the heater and the wires that we make shift fixed fixed under the hood so ever since we fixed 
the wires for the second time, I taped them down here where I connected them to the body, and I also taped up the connections here, and you'll see my patented zip tie fastener, and uh, there's no sign of heat or distress on that fuse. The wires aren't melted or hot looking, and we've never had another fuse blown since. So my first fix wasn't really a fix at all. It was just a troublesome act of do-it-yourselfer. So we did manage to get it right the second time, and like I said, no more problems. A few weeks back, we ended up putting some emergency brake shoes on the back, and uh, even though they were holding at the time, They've kind of wore in a little bit and they're not holding as good right now as we saw from the snow day video. So we're going to get in there and we're going to tighten up a few notches on those self adjusters. But before we do that, we will talk about uh, what is going to be coming up in the future for bubbles. And you're not going to want to miss some of these uh, videos that will be coming up likely towards the end of April. It could happen sooner should Bubbles bite the biscuit, so to speak, on her own. But um, I did just check the oil and, you know, despite everything that we've put this thing through, this thing has not gone down a drop of oil ever since we initially topped it up when we first got it. So the engine seems to be just, you know, bulletproof almost. Last weekend uh, during the snow day we did notice a little bit of puffing of smoke coming out the tailpipe but I think that was just minor. Maybe we hit that rev limiter a little too hard too many times uh, but at the end of the day the thing continues uh, continues to start uh, on command every time and uh, unless Junior leaves the light on and you know I've not had any issues. I have said in the past due to the uh, poor alignment up front the steering wheel is off a little bit because I did put a tie rod on it and never did get it lined up and because of the rusted rear subframe that we welded back together I'm sure the alignment is not perfect here nor do I know that it's 100% perfect up front. When you are driving this thing down a dry road it seems to be fairly fine but as soon as you hit a little patch of ice or black ice or snow or something that you don't have very much traction, the thing just wants to go all over the place. So it's very treacherous to drive in hazardous conditions. And thank God that I only drive it between here and home, which is about two and a half, three miles altogether. Uh, so I, I don't worry about it too much, but I do have to be careful when driving in those conditions. So back to what's gonna be coming up with bubbles. Um, I've got a couple of friends um, who have agreed to help me out with the demise of bubbles. So that's right, uh, in April, if it lasts that long, when the inspection runs out, we are going to destroy bubbles. And how we're going to do that? Well, you're gonna to have to tune in to find out, but it might involve um, and possibly even but again you'll have to wait and stay tuned to the channel and see what we're going to do with bubbles and if that series becomes a very popular series on this channel well we just might have to do more of it so now would be a good time if you haven't yet click that red subscribe button right there subscribe to this channel hit that bell notification when you hit that notification bell it sends a email to you and a notification to let you know that I've uploaded a new video. You never know what's going to be coming in the next episode. So for right now, I'm just going to go and I'm going to get these brakes adjusted. I'm also going to uh, top up the fluids, just check a few things on bubbles and uh, we'll be right back with you. <laughs> Also guys, if you are new to the channel, you will notice that in this shop, we have license plates from all over Canada and the US, and they wrap all the way around. So another project that I wanna do for my man cave 
is I want to start collecting a few more. I have probably 15 or 20 over there in a box, but I want to start collecting a few more from uh, different states and provinces so that I can start a wall in my garage to cover up the entire wall with license plates. So if you have a spare license plate kicking around that you don't want anymore, my Canadian and American address is in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands and if I get them from you, I'll give you a shout out. Let's just see how well this emergency brake adjustment really works. Well, based on those frosted covered donuts, I'd say it works pretty good. So guys, I appreciate you guys sticking around with me as long as you have. It's been over a year now. We did not make the 1,000 subscriber target, but we're getting there. We are still growing. We're growing by a few uh, uh, subscribers per day, and uh, that's actually pretty exciting to know that we are growing uh, at that rate. So guys, t-shirts and hoodies are on sale at the first link in the description box below. Many colors, many sizes, and the price is right. If you want to support the channel so we can do a lot more things with things like Project Bubbles or more projects like Bubbles, then go ahead and purchase a t-shirt and show your support for the channel. Also, don't forget Thursday night's live feed. Every other week it's on my channel. So this week, head on over to Straight Six Fans channel. I'll put his link up here as well as a link in the description box below. And that's where it will be held this week. So come on over, show your support once more, and you'll get to meet all kinds of automotive YouTubers as well as just guys who love to watch automotive YouTube. And that way we can... Phone's ringing. So I'm not sure where we were left off before we got interrupted there, but if you come over to the YouTuber Hangout, that's exactly what it is. And uh, we, it's in hopes that small YouTube channels like myself and like Grant uh, are able to gain subscribers through the help of guys who watch the subscriber channel. And those guys are constantly helping each other out with subscriptions as well. So I encourage you, if you're a YouTube channel, come on over and uh, jump in the conversation and uh, see what goes on over there. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless, and stay tuned for a distance to empty challenge coming up in the next video.